back to another video with your boy President Lightskin, aka the full time comedian. We got Kevin Samuels. Men are simple and modern women still don't understand. Oh my God. Still don't understand. Hey, listen, every time when we react to a Kevin Samuels video, y'all show so much. Like, I ain't even gonna say love. Y'all just be watching the video the most. You feel me? And we're gonna keep reacting to him and uh fix fit as fearless and a lot more things and i'm about to uh see what y'all really like other than that man like to subscribe how are you good um so what do i have wrong here what do you have wrong mm-hmm I got everything wrong, apparently, about women, including ranking them. You know, apparently, <laughs> that's the sin. That's the devil, you know? Can't have no. those pesky rankings. Honestly, um, I would say maybe, like, about um, a year ago or maybe even eight months ago, I would probably, like, disagree with everything that you had to say, but... Uh -huh. um, <laughs> really? Damn. Well, just go for it then. A, a lot of things. Maybe a lot of things that you have to say, but I've actually, I've been in a relationship with uh, someone for the past year, uh -huh. and um, the reason why I actually gravita gravitated towards your videos is because he thinks very much the way that you do, and okay. we would get into, you know, discussions and disagreements about it. Mm -hmm. um all the time and he's like you know i'm not trying to be mean i'm just saying the truth of what it is and uh -huh. and you know he's he would explain it to me and we would have our little debates and whatever and so it, it, it was very entertaining almost for me to like hear you know uh the you discussion somebody you else <laughs> for any woman that's coming coming across this video y'all probably thinking that like oh you watch his videos because he yell at women i actually really don't i actually be watching his videos bro and i'll be just like learning like modern women really like it's not their fault that they don't understand it's just the fact that like it's their fault because like bro they're being allowed to be lied to. Like, some of y'all are grown and still have friends and homegirls that's going to boost your head up. Bro, when was the last time we ever seen, like, a woman, like, critiquing another woman? Like, not putting her down. Like, keeping it real, you feel me? There's a saying, single women keep other women single. You feel me? Bro, us homeboys, bro, we don't never cop block. We always want to put, put each other on, put each other on game. But if they do something weird and stupid... We gonna call them out for it, or we be roasting them. But y'all don't do that. TVs, social media, movies, homegirls, everywhere y'all go. Even the men that y'all don't want that's stuck in your DMs talking to themselves, bro. They all been lying to y'all. Oh, you're a queen. You're this and that. You don't have to lose weight. Yeah, eat that piece of cake because after when you done, you ate it up. Period. Like, bro, y'all being lied to, and it's like. Crazy that it's a lot of y'all. Every time I watch this man videos, bro, he basically saying the same thing. He asks y'all what y'all want. Okay, bet. This is what you want. As a high value man, I'm going to tell you what they want. Now, do you have what they want? Nine times out of ten, they say no and it's an excuse. And then that's when they just start arguing. But the one thing I never knew, I never knew 80% of men hate fat women. I never knew that. And the discussions that you would have with women and, you know, I've been watching a lot of your content as of lately and um i'm gonna be honest uh, you know a lot of it makes sense the only thing <laughs> the hold only on. thing hold on that, you, that hold, I, on. hold on just a second if you have sure. a disagreement in the zoom meeting room if you have a disagreement raise your hand um prioritizing disagreements go ahead melissa okay so the only thing i'll have a disagreement with is i we were, we were actually just watching one of your videos um together uh like an hour ago okay and you were talking to this woman who was like she she worked in the fi financial and she um you know she was probably one of the more like sane ones uh -huh. that just made a lot of sense you know and she had a i think it was one time I seen this video of Kevin saying it was like bro he was talking so smooth and so calm but he was telling her the god honest truth and she sat there and just said okay okay I understand and she was crying like she was crying like she was like she got put into this room and God say, look, this is your last chance for you to change your mindset, change how the way you act. 
This is your last chance. Listen to this man. And she just sat there and like she was like fairy tale based on like what she was saying to Kevin. And then he was just like telling her the whole honest to God truth. And she sat there and she slowly just started crying, bro. That's crazy. You got a nine year old daughter. Okay. And, um, you know, she made good money and she was, you know, and she kind of was even open to the idea of, of lowering her standards in the sense of what the man makes. Okay. And then she talked about wanting to go to um, museums with the person and this and that and, you know, have it for them to be cultured. And I just feel like... Does she wear glasses? Yes. I know mm -hmm. you're referring to. Yes. And, and, so, the re mm -hmm. okay, and, the problem, and the problem with her wanting somebody to be cultured. Um, <laughs> uh-huh. How many people... How many... Uh, well, what's, what's your issue with it before I say that? Well, I would say that I'm on your side and then I'm not. Just because I feel like maybe you made the argument. Um, I don't I don't know why you maybe made the argument. but Because I men like don't give a shit about that kind of stuff in general. <laughs> I mean, there'd okay. be no different. There'd be no different than women who say, you know, I want a man who reads poetry. And yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. We do not, bro. But... If you want to go to the museum, I'll definitely go with you just because you just want to go and you want me to go with you. So I would just I, like I would go. You feel like picks that. flowers, you guys, and you know it's like, well, wait a minute, that's not what men do. Mm -hmm. Or if a, or if a man said, you know what, I want a woman who's into uh, off roading a NASCAR. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, you ladies have no problem putting your expectations on us that are feminine, but then we put it in those terms. Hey, I want a woman. Who can get out? Who why would who can you want to share with us? Good, babe. Go buy the new PS5, the new Call of Duty, the new 2K. And it's like, well, I'm not into that stuff. Well, right. we don't really want to go to museums and all that other stuff. The reason we do that is because we want to have sex. You well, but museums. I think that when it's a loving relationship and it's a relationship where the two people uh -huh. care about each other, there's always gonna be something where the other party doesn't necessarily love doing. Right. But and, and you get to do that in moderation. You get no answer. You're right, and you get to do that in moderation. It's like the it. Here's what it is: you get to redeem uh, either two or four chick flick coupons per year. <laughs> you can only ask us to watch beaches. You can only ask us to to go do chick stuff two right. or four times out of the year. Not ev not all the time. Yes. So it's not a matter. So it's not a matter of that the man would not go. It's a matter of frequency. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. And I feel like, mm -hmm. but I feel like just her situation and just, I don't know, I got like a really good vibe from her. I feel like she was being very genuine and she, she isn't no, a but she could, But she couldn't date a man who was middle, who was middle income. I know who you're talking about. Yes, absolutely. And I agree with you, but I also feel like, you know, it isn't too much for her to expect that she can find a man who will be willing to do those things for her, even if that's maybe not Hold there. Now, this is, okay. Okay. This is okay. Are you basing this on what men say? I'm basing it off of what she wants. Right. You have any children? No. You ever have a kid? They want to eat cupcakes for breakfast. Hmm. You ladies talk to each other about what you want. I got a total of three homegirls, right? Two of them, I really be talking to talking to them about relationships the most. And I think, and I think one girl was asking me like, how do men like operate and how they think? I'm like, bro, we are very simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we approach you, bro, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like we want you. Like, you feel me? Like, we want you. And depending on what the person, depending on what the man says when he approach you, it's easy, bro. Like, you can easily tell if you want to just, like, hit or or if you want to, like, actually, like, settle down with you. You feel me? Bro, I be talking to them all the time. I be like, bro, like, I'm like, bro, do y'all talk to any other girls about, like, relationships or about men? And, like, I don't think they do. I think, I think they should be talking to me about it. I remember one girl, she was saying... Something about like her not dating light skinned men because of how I am. And it's just like, bro, like, I'm like, bro, I understand, but most of the time, bro, I really just be talking. Like, bro, I would love to be in a relationship, but a lot of y'all just be having flaws and like y'all just be like pressuring me. Like, they were like, bro, is that a problem with you? Is that a problem with you? 
Yes, it's a problem with me, bro. That's why I just want to hit. Maybe I should cut that part out. And because what she wants and what you want, you always substantiate each other's wants. But is it what men, is it, is it who men are? No, but the thing is, is that us as women, I feel like, and maybe there's a double standard here, but I feel like even us as women, there's going to be times where we don't necessarily enjoy doing a certain thing or, and I, I and maybe it might be so different because he... in my relationship, you know, we make those compromises. So there are going to be times where I don't necessarily Man. want to do that. That's the only reason why I'm not really pressuring on being in a relationship was because when I got this office space and I'm trying to lock in. I don't have time to be texting. I don't have time to be kicking it on the phone for hours and hours and hours. I don't have time to be going on meaningless, meaning, meaningless dates. I don't even have enough time to pull up to your house and smash. You and it, baby, bro, like, we're gonna have to do it right there. I ain't gonna lie. But I would love to be in a relationship, but it's just like, bro, I'm just so busy, bro. Thing or like or enjoy doing something. Mm -hmm. Plus two, I'm gonna have but to. But I do it, you know, because I know that's your job what he wants to do that, okay okay and that's your job and men make compromise all the time men don't yeah. want to have to get out and pay all the bills yeah men don't want to have to get, get up when it goes bumping tonight we don't want to have to put our life on the line and die for you yeah you feel what i'm saying like all right so look for my girl nah i ain't gonna say for my girlfriend for my wife and for my kids bro i would i would i would die for them for sure i would die for my mama i'd die for my wife and i'd die for my kids for sure for sure Cause uh, I don't know if y'all remember, but in the last video, I think we reacted to Kevin, Kevin Samuels. I said, if I ever become a billionaire, I want 50 kids. Look, if you gay, if you a thought, or if you a street dude and you really in them streets, I got to disown you, all right? Number one, I'm not homophobic, but I have, I want to have 50 kids so that them 50 kids can make more kids and make more kids. You feel me? I don't want my aura or uh something about me i don't want that to die i want my whole i want my family tree that i created to live long and forever and never have to ever ever have to worry about being in debt or being homeless see you you ladies like yourself you say you what you do is you validate women like this you tell her it's nothing wrong with her wanting what she wants yeah it is yeah it is yeah it really is Okay, what, but there is no but. Don't... There is no but. What she wants is keeping her single. Uh. Your kids, but... if you have, uh, you're a mother. You're a mother. Okay, you're a mother. Ten years from now, you're a mother. Yeah, you know, fifteen years uh -huh. from now, you're a mother. Mm -hmm. Your son doesn't want to go to school. He just mm -hmm. wants to go take the test. He doesn't want to attend. Hmm. And he can actually make the grades, but school requires a certain amount of attendance. Right. You, go, you just gonna let him stay at home because he no. didn't want to go? I don't know why you ladies think the world is built around what you want. We're grown people. We do what we have to do so we can do what we want to do. And part and of I our hold saying. on, and part of our problems okay. in relationships okay. is because people refuse to grow up. They refuse to grow up and refuse to put away the childish things and notions of want and love and this and that and realize that life is about trade-offs and compromises. Mm -hmm. But don't you think those compromises should be on both sides? Maybe they yeah, you should, you, you, you want to be. Uh, here's, what it, here's what it should be on. Who put up, here's what it should be on. If women like her, there are more women in the world that think like her. Okay. They're not wives. <laughs> That's in the sentence. You guys want to just go back and, uh, and make this a philosophical debate. It isn't. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. And either you ladies decide to meet men where they are, or you get a woman, or you get a dog, and die alone. <laughs> and die alone. See, there's a time when my grandmother would not have tried to make my grandfather do the stuff that she liked because there was a thing with men's stuff and women's stuff. Mm -hmm. And when I hear a woman like you, they're just saying it, you sound like a, ki uh, like a kid. It's like, well, I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. It's not fair. Let's talk about it. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? No, no. And then just like, no. No, but the thing is, is that when it came to the monetary, right, the I'm high value, I'm, 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 I'm wrapping this up because 
look, the woman was older. She she was older with a daughter, and she wanted a man with six figures and a bunch of other things. But I think in the middle of that conversation, I'm sorry, I don't mean to talk over you. I think in the middle of that conversation, when you had explained, you know, the the circumstance of, you know, other there are other women that you've worked with that you know work make more money than their counterpart and they are submissive i think that she took that and kind of changed her stance a little bit on terms of the money part no, but in really terms didn't. of the well, no, what was really that didn't. no she really didn't i mean i no, have a conversation so? i know I what's no did. okay well that's why i'm well, because, here that's why okay. i'm here <laughs> wait well i wasn't listening i'm sorry I, and they are the circumstance of you know other there are other women that you've worked with that you know work make more money than their counterpart and they are submissive i think that she took that and kind of changed her stance a little bit on terms of the money part no, but in really terms didn't. of the well, no, what was really that didn't. no she really didn't i mean i no, have a conversation so? i know I what's no did. okay well that's why i'm well, here because that's why, only, <laughs> That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. And you're over there because, because understand something. Plumber. Uh, no, okay, no. Because at the end of the day, she could not marry a plumber. But she said she was willing to. No, she was not. <laughs> God bless your boyfriend. Because you got more work to do. <laughs> I mean, he seriously. agreed with me. He agreed with me. Cause you're fucking him. <laughs> I'm not fucking. <laughs> oh, bro! Every single female, every single lady that is a supporter of President Lightskin, a Comma Crew member, listen to me when I tell y'all this, bro. If you have a man who is a yes man before, during, and after he clapping your cheeks. Just know he wants to clap the cheeks and keep wanting to clap those cheeks. He got you on the roster. He wants you right there. So he's not going to keep it a buck with you. You feel me? Because imagine if he would have kept it a buck with you and you actually took what he said and understood it and applied it to somewhere else. You're going to leave him. And he don't want you to leave. You feel me? Or you, he could keep it a buck with you. And you'll just get mad and like that would be like more complications and then you'll like make that as a big excuse on why you should leave him. But yeah, ladies, if y'all want a man, like if y'all want like a real man, like a real boyfriend and he's just a yes man, he wants to smash. Simple. I ain't gonna lie. All you gotta do is just take him to your room, see if he wants to smash and then like that's how you know. You, I don't have to agree with you. I can tell you the truth. I told her the same thing. Mm -hmm. That also goes for homeboys too. That also go for male best friends too. If your male if your male best friend is keeping it a buck with you, depending on his tone and what he's saying, he don't want to smash. He just want to be friends with you, and he wanted to get in through your thick skull. I seen people on TikTok, uh, uh, girls be like, when a male best friend be getting on them because like, bro, like you know that you're wrong, but you don't like to be told that you're wrong. I'm sorry, ma'am. You guys keep wanting to. It's like. At what point do you guys, honestly, I'm going to just be real. And okay. At what point do you guys just be quiet and say, okay? Well, here's the thing. Right? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> there, there is no point, and I'm going to help you right now. Get up out of here. I'm again. I mean, it's the thing is, it's like you are like kids. I, I, I want to. I want it. I want it. But, 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 but yeah, but yeah, but, uh, uh, but let's just. But, uh, 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 but uh, it, it's not right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, hold on. Wait. Uh. Men are the men are simple. Men are simple. Sex sandwich silence. <laughs> and you ladies want to make men women, and we are not. And. If, and honestly, if I were wrong about the majority of things I say, why would I have so many men coming back day in, day out, supporting, saying, thank you for saying this, bro. Appreciate what you're doing. Somebody needs to say this. 
I can't say it because if I say that I'm I'll, I'll lose my job I'll lose this I'll lose that and what it really shows me what this really shows me more than anything else in all honesty is how little you most women know about men you really don't know men it's not hard all right man that was it for this video man make sure y'all like comment subscribe